Let's go find an actual, whoa! The day is Friday, October something or other. I don't know, I don't run on numbers. I don't remember the day. I don't remember what number it is, ever. But uh, in recent vlogs, I was talking to Mrs. Brixie about getting a second mic and I ran to Best Buy and I bought a dual microphone and then Mrs. Brixie's like, well, wait a minute, now you have three microphones. What's up with that? Why do you need three microphones? Why didn't you just buy another single one? And I was like, that's a good idea. I don't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, the reason is, is because classically you'd have like the Rode microphone and when you have the dual mics, you need the receiver that plugs into the camera and then the two mics transmits the receiver which transmits to the camera. So I thought it would be the same thing for these DJI mics. But then I remembered that these DJI mics actually just connect wirelessly to the camera. So I don't need to buy this $479 dual microphone with the receiver, but rather I just need to spend $160 on another microphone. So luckily for us, I think that actually worked out. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to mic up Mrs. Brixie with this mic and we're going to test that out right now she is super duper busy check it out so here's mrs brixie she's currently working on putting out all the christmas stuff let's see if this works put that bad boy on testing testing does it, does it work it shows does that it work? it's working let's see that let's see that thing what is that these are the reindeer that you hate so much uh, they're a little you, dated. You hate those reindeer. Those I, things are like 30 plus I, years old. I, I love think. them. That's why so she is didn't this throw box. them out. So is this box. Actually, this I just texted my mom. 30 years old? I think this box is, is as old as I am. It's good as new, though. It's good as new. It's seen better days, I mean, you know. But yeah. it's stored Christmas decorations for my entire life. Look at that fella. So peaceful. Yeah, so we're uh, putting Christmas decorations out. Classically, we would put the Christmas decorations all over the house upstairs, but we have kids, so that's just, like, not going to happen. Oh, my gosh, that's a wicked shirt. I should throw it on now. We like getting our Christmas decorations out as early as possible. Um, you know, typically you would wait till before Remembrance Day, but we like to embrace it as, as early as possible and, and love it. Because we just love our Christmas decorations. We have so much good stuff. I discovered this all wrapped up. I was like, what is this hidden treasure? Oh. This was the ornament we bought in February in Disneyland. Oh, I forgot which yeah. one we bought. Look how cute. It is cute. That's Chippendale. That was before Millie's obsession with Chippendale, which is funny. Hmm. Well, we shouldn't show uh, Millie what I was doing all day today. Mm -hmm. I was working on building all these minifigures and looking at how many Chips and Dales I got. I have an army of Chippendales. But yeah, we had all this stuff that was in that cabinet before upstairs, and then we moved this cabinet down here because we started uh, getting ready for some changes that we're making upstairs. All this stuff used to be on that cabinet there, but once we're undone, or once we're done unpacking all of these uh, Christmas decorations, that's going to be a great sound. Styrofoam? I know, that's why I'm that's like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. But once we get all these Christmas decorations put out, or once Mrs. Brixie does, I'm currently <laughs> making a video, and she's a better decorator than I am. Well, then we can put all that stuff into these bins and put that stuff into the garage for the holiday season. So it'll be pretty, be pretty good. I'm excited about having the Christmas stuff here because we actually made this change yesterday. Classically, we would have it like upstairs by our kitchen and stuff. But now we've discovered the best place for your primary Christmas decorations and also your Christmas tree is right by your couch where you're just chilling because... You know, you watch a movie at night for two hours or a couple TV episodes or whatever it may be, and you're sitting right here, and now we're going to be able to look at our Christmas decorations, which will be right there, and also the Christmas tree, which will be where our ladder is. Look how sad, though. Oh, just he's, bust he's a hole in the he's ceiling. Gonna, he's going to be lonely. Just bust it right through. That is sad. I'm hoping this dual mic situation is pretty sweet. I'm thinking it is. Especially for this channel. Well, actually, no, for the other channel, too. Maybe we need to get two more so we can mic, mic up our dogs. They're plenty still. loud, I think. But I think uh, for the other channel, too, because then Mrs. Brixie will be able to give her input on all the Lego stuff, too. But, yeah, pretty epic. We're going to get our Christmas decorations set up today. And I hit render on a video, and then I came down here to check on Mrs. Brixie, and I'm going to go see how that was. I just rendered the time-lapse portion with the voiceover so it's easier to manipulate in the uh, second round of editing. So I'm going to get to that. 
I was thinking we should do some stuff like at the studio last night, but then I was like, oh, I need to get all those figures built, 322 figures. And I was like, oh, I can just do that from home. The kids are at daycare and I can just crush those out from home. And then I could help Mrs. Brixie haul down these heavy boxes. I can go pick up the kids from daycare. I can do the editing here. And then tomorrow I'll probably go back to the studio. So I took a little home day here and it's a little bit of a mess because we're working on putting out our Christmas decorations. So there's always a little bit of a transitional period when we do that. Yeah, good stuff, everybody. Look, Mrs. Brixie got this here. It's the uh, Christmas countdown. That's the decoration that she bought for this year. You got the different characters, all Mickey's, Santa or Peppermint or Rudolph, and then you can count down the days. Pretty cool little advent calendar. Also, I think she bought some holiday themed advent calendars for the kids. They're just basic ones, like the, the ones that you had when you were growing up. Two bucks. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Mickey ones. Awesome. Cool, cool. Oh, I love this pillow. Yes! He's back out. <laughs> Fun times. I love it. I love this dude right here. It's Teddy. He's the guardian of our washroom. <laughs> this is a nice little counter too. Theodore. Oh, Theodore. The Mickey. Pretty awesome. Well, we were looking at the uh, different version of this at Costco the other day. So uh, we got this. This is a thing. Add that to our hectic life. Putting our uh, dog in diapers before we leave for work and in the middle of the night too, like as she sleeps. Right, Stel? Diaper dog. Tonight was an interesting night. Kids got home from daycare at 4.30 and Benjamin opted in to cry until about six. Until he went to bed. Until he went to bed, until about seven. Yeah, he cried the entire time. There was no pleasing him. He was just tired. But it's hard when uh, you have a kid that won't stop crying for two and a half hours. It mentally, it tests you mentally. Like, it's like, oh my gosh. And we're lucky because we've got two. So only one is, uh, you know, happy at a time. We're lucky because we have two. We're lucky because we have two, so... You know, they're, they're opposites. One's happy, one's not. The other's happy, the other's not. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it hard, seriously. <sighs> but we're going to... Which is, they just made some tea here. Put some creamer in it, so that's good. And now we're going to go finish watching the first episode of Holiday Baking Championship. And also X-Men. Days of Future Past. We've got one hour left, so it should be a good night. This only happens one time a year. We get the selection of candy. I'm breaking into the kids' candy. You're breaking into the kids' candy? Oh well, I wanted God. Reese's. Why don't you, you, you should be wearing your mic. I told you that. <laughs> Just teasing you. Oh, you wanted Reese's? I sort of want that wagon wheel, but you keep those for them because they are delicious. So I'm going to go with uh, a coffee crisp and Swedish berries. And <laughs> Cadbury. Those, those are good. Those are and... the other scoring. And... <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm like a kid on Halloween. Put those in here for safekeeping. Those ones, these are, <laughs> these are good. <laughs> I don't fucking like caramel. This is bullshit. No, don't, don't. What? <laughs> I don't know if you heard Mrs. Brixie there. That's funny, though. So I'm a type of guy that likes to wear loungewear. Comfy stuff. You know, on the long sleeve, like comfy tees and track pants and sweatpants and stuff like that. Because I have a job that allows me to do it, so I'm lucky. If you, don't, you know, I don't need to be dressed nice or anything. So I enjoy being comfy. And I bought these uh, track pants. What was that, a couple days ago from Costco? I was looking for new trackies. These things are incredible. Nice, deep pockets, zipper on the back, uh, ribbed around the bottom, or whatever you want to call it. Man, 
I'm gonna have to go buy some more. These are the best track pants I've worn in a long time. They're like comparable to Lululemon and Lululemon's track pants would be like, I don't know, $120. These things were like 20 bucks. Costco. They've got that competitive edge, kids. What are you guys doing? More? What do you say? Do you say, please? You guys are having second or is this third breakfast already? Is it second or third? That means more. More, right? You guys want more? Dry cereal? You saw that dad was having his cereal, so you had to have cereal as well, correct? You know, you don't have to do that with that one. It's a straw. <laughs> you don't have to hold it like this. See, look, your sister's got it down pat. There you go, bud. You guys gonna have fun today? It's Saturday, you're staying home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta go to the studio. Yeah. I might go back to Costco and get more of these pants because I've been looking for cheap track pants to replace all my other stuff and I think these, these are the way to go for sure. They're like stretchy too, it's like incredible. Incredible kids, I tell you. Also, I uh, discovered that Toys R Us is having 20% off sales right now on Lego. But I was looking on their website and it was hard to determine if that was the actual discounted price because a lot of the time what uh, Toys R Us does is they jack up their prices and then they put it 20% off. So it's actually not 20% off. It's more like 5% off. So I might go check that out as well. Or I can just hang out at home today. I don't know. So of course, I find myself back at Costco. Okay, so they're actually $25. I thought there was $5 that came off of that upon checkout, but either way, smoke and deal. I think I'm gonna get this gray color and another pair of black. Oh, <laughs> big timer here, stepping it up. They're just so good, honestly. I sort of want to get some Eddie Bauer socks too. 25 bucks for, what is it? Three pairs of thermal socks? Those look cozy. Those would be nice. I don't know, I think I have enough socks. Hey, you could also get the Kirkland brand ones for $5 off. These heads are actually pretty interesting. Look, you get six heads inside. So there's like all the different sizes. I definitely don't need any more of those. This is a pretty cool set too though. Like you got the rock climbing on the side and then the ski jump. And you get like the, the bike, the skier. Look at the tube. That's hilarious. And then there's also the uh, Corvette over here. The Corvette retails for $200 here in Canada, like at the Lego store, which is insane. Uh, it is 1,210 pieces only, but that is a really neat windscreen that they specially made for the set. And it's 170 here at Costco. Then they have the uh, two-in-one Technic set here. So you get both pullback vehicles for $80. I had like the whack and bash pullback vehicles back in the day. I thought those were pretty cool, but haven't really experimented with any others. And if I wanted to get like these little Technic vehicles, I don't know what the scale of them is. This would probably be the place to do it. These are $50. So there's the Bolade, the Yesco, the Hurricane, and then also the Blue Bolade. Now normally they have all the advent calendars here and if they did have them all, I'd probably pick up the uh, Lego City one because there's so many like ugly Christmas sweaters in it. But I only see the Disney ones, which comes with like the Friends style mini dolls, right? Are those even mini dolls? They're sort of weird. They're not even mini dolls. What are those? <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, there's also the uh, Porsche GT4 in the uh, Technic vehicles as well. That can't be right. Oh, this one's RC controlled. Okay, I was gonna say that seems so expensive, but it's RC controlled. And then there's the Friends Animal Sanctuary, also the Friends Botanical Garden. 
I don't know why you'd get that when the new botanical garden's coming out anyway. And there's also another, oh no, this is the Porsche again. And then there's two of the uh, botanical sets, actually three of them. There's the poinsettia for $50, and then these two for $30 each. So nothing too crazy there, but the pants, that's where it's at. I'm just walking down all the front aisles here, and I think I found a little gem. Look at this. This is a little cordless handheld vacuum cleaner. And what would this be good for? You guessed it, cleaning Lego. Look at all the different attachments it comes with. You've got like the bristle tips, the little nozzles. Looks like it's charged from a USB-C. Oh, that's a good little unit right there. For cleaning Lego? What do you think? Wow. Something else that's really cool about this product is not only is it a vacuum, but it also inflates, meaning it blows. So it could blow the dust off the Lego as well. You have both options. It might be worth it for 60 Canadian. Now I'm just thinking here too that this thing, it has so many different like tips and attachments and everything. It's gonna be perfect for like vacuuming your car, like in between the seats, like in all those little cracks and crevices that you can't reach. I wanna pick one up, that's a hidden gem. Now I've always been intrigued by a storage system like this for Lego, open based. I've tried the little containers before, but these ones here are open. I'll never change what I'm doing now, like with the Sterilite drawers and the 3D printed inserts inside, but I've always been intrigued by having an open system, not like this, but like that. I for sure don't need this, but this is a good solution if you're looking to get into Nespresso. You get the Nespresso machine, which can do your coffee and espressos, and then you also get the milk frother, and you get a variety of coffees as well. That's not bad. What's that going for? $180. So you get the coffee machine, the frother, and some starter packs, or N32, like uh, capsules to get you started. Not too bad at all if you're looking to get into Nespresso. There you go, Costco has it. Now I'm gonna buy this little vacuum for Lego, but I also have one of these at my house. And they are incredible. However, mine is, I think, probably five or six years old at this point, and it still kills it. Like, it is amazing on our like shag carpet upstairs. Just picks up all the dog hair and dust. It's just disgusting how much dog hair is in our house. But these things are amazing. If my uh, if mine ever dies, then I'll immediately buy another one because they are game changers. Now I have one of these at the studio. It's not like the good one like this, where it has like the self-emptying dust bin. That is so neat. I wouldn't mind upgrading it at some point and getting a better one, so it goes back, docks, unloads and continues on its way. But I'm also considering getting the Makita, like industrial one. And that one has like the uh, like drill battery packs that you just charge like separately from the machine and put it in there and it just keeps giving her. And I feel like it can do more floor space because the studio is pretty big. So I'm considering getting one of those Makita ones, but for now we have like the basic shark one. Now when I was here the other day, I featured the headphones that I got. These ones right here, I think they were listed for like $480, and I was like, there's no way I paid $480 for those headphones. And look at the price today, $396.99. So you just never know. Okay, I sort of want to get this, not gonna lie. Should I get Snorlax or Pikachu for the studio? So for some reason, I uh, made the decision of coming here on Saturday. It is extremely busy, and I regret this decision. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to check out, but we better get out of here. I'm gonna stop looking around for more stuff before I spend more money. Like the self checkout lineup is legitimately into the frozen area, which is at the back of the store. It's worth it though. I got a really cool vacuum and a couple cool pairs of slacks. We're gonna head to the studio and we're gonna test this out. Whoa, I think it might be a game changer for cleaning Lego. Pretty excited about that. While I'm here, I may as well get some cheap gas as well. Am I turning into like a Costco fanatic? 
how could you not be? The prices are incredible. The quality is there. I swear these are Lululemon pants. I own Lululemon pants. I own $25 Costco pants. I'm pretty sure these are Lululemon pants. Like they might even be made by Lululemon. <laughs> Uh, how could you not be you know, a fan of that? Also, I got the card that gets you 2% back at the end of the year. Like, that adds up. That adds up quick. Amazing. Ah, got to go to Best Buy, too, because we discovered that that microphone worked out there. So I've still got this one sealed. So we're going to go return that as well. I thought that you needed this because I thought, it, I thought you needed the uh, receiver, but I guess you don't. Pretty fancy stuff. What is this world coming to here? Everything's getting so fancy. <laughs> awesome. You know what's not fancy? This gas lineup. But Costco, they get you out of there lickety split. They don't even have like the window wiper stuff. Like you can't squeegee your windows or anything. So they pump them through. Not too bad. Also, that self checkout, bang, 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 bang. Honestly, it was like not even five minutes. So pretty cool. So I just finished up at Best Buy, returned those microphones, no problem. And then I got looking at laptops, of course, because I'm still in the market for a laptop that can handle 4K footage so that I can edit it from home and I can, or start editing at the studio and I can bring it home and then I can, I can just one more step toward editing in 4K because it's still at this point, if I want to edit at 4K, that means I'm editing at the end of the day once we're done filming at the studio and just once again it's just a time thing like filming and transferring and uploading and rendering in 4k just takes a long time it takes longer than 1080p so that's why i film in 1080p just file size and everything about it takes longer so i was looking at pcs and i got talking to a, a sales rep and he's like so we have these laptops here they're incredible like this one has a touch screen and it's an AMD Ryzen A19 whatever and it's got 64 gigabytes of RAM and it's got the GeForce RTX 4070 blah 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 blah. He's like that one's awesome. We also have this smaller one here. The only difference is, is it doesn't have as much RAM blah 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 blah. He's like but what you should do uh you, what you, you gotta do is you gotta get a MacBook. Is that you gotta get one of the new MacBook M4 Pros. It's gonna be legendary for 4K video editing. Like you should just learn how to use Mac. And it's like, ah, <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe I should. Anyone I ever talked to about editing videos and editing 4K, and like any professionals in the industry and any like pro computer persons always like yeah get a mac get a mac get a mac i tried that once i couldn't do it uh but now i'm almost like thinking about trying it again with a macbook like with the laptop either way let's go do some vacuuming here it is unpacked so we've got the vacuum not bad this is like the little extender for it so if you want to increase the length of that then we've got this attachment here as well. But as far as I'm aware, these are the only tips that are designed for actually vacuuming. These ones are designed for like blowing. So I think the vacuum aspect of it is pretty self-explanatory. There's the extender. Uh, this is the throttle right here. And if I press it once and hold, it'll turn on. And you can see, uh, it's on like low right now. If I press it again, it'll go to high. And pretend this is a Lego set. There you go. Get rid of all that dust. Very nice. And then press and hold and it'll turn off. Let's go find an actual, whoa! Holy cow, I almost just fell down the stairs. Did you see that save? Oh my gosh, I was scared for my life. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I was holding this camera and the vacuum. If I went down, this camera was dead. Like it was getting tossed. Oh my God. 
I was legitimately like right in there. Holy cow. Okay, let's go to the Batmobiles. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am so frightened. That was just crazy. There's honestly not much dust here. Like, what's wrong with me? There's no dusty Lego to try this on. There's a little bit. But I think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory, you know? Find some dusty Lego and, and dust it. But geez, I've got a problem here. All my Lego is so darn clean. <laughs> it's because we recently moved it. And when I placed it on the shelf, I pretty much dusted it all. But it'll be back. Like, it'll be dusty again. I know the city's not very dusty right now because I um, dusted it while we were moving all that stuff. But yeah, it's just like a little keyboard vacuum. I like how there's two different settings for high and low. I think that's pretty cool. Don't mind my giant mess there. I just literally can't find any dusty Lego, everybody. What's going on here? <laughs> there's nothing dusty, so I guess just check it out and enjoy the Lego, the cool stuff. There we go. There's a little bit of dust on the dark Millennium Falcon. But this is how I do it. Oh, this one's pretty dusty. Oh yeah, you can see in there. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. I think this is the way to do it. I'm going to show you the blow function, or let's check it out. I'll be careful on the stairs this time, though. To activate the blow function, all you would do is just take the canister off, and this is how you would empty the canister and clean the filter. And then take any one of your tips. This looks like a little devil right here. And twist it on the back where we have that fan. And then press the power button again. And now, it's pretty powerful. That's the low setting. Let's test it over here. Watch this. Like, it's moving Lego. <laughs> it's not bad. Let's try this out. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Well, there you go, everybody. We got a sick new vacuum for the uh, studio. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We didn't quite get the uh, Christmas decorations done yet, but I had fun at Costco there, picking up some pants and also this little devil. Oh, here we go, I found some dust. So now when you can't get in there, for example, I couldn't get in these cracks. Well, we can just come in here and blow it out. Although that dust looks like it's been there for 10 years or something. No, probably longer than that. But like for the cockpit of a, a CN, you can just blow it all out. So I think it's worth having both features. That's for sure. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, and be safe on stairs, everybody. Don't fall down the stairs. Brutal. Don't do that. Have a great day. Farewell.